Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. This is Lynn Allen. I'm happy because it's sunny today and I can hardly wait till spring. I don't know about you. Let's talk today about a command called Quick Select because I find as I'm out and about that it seems that people have forgotten about this command or they just don't know that it exists in AutoCAD. So let's, let's all get caught up on it because it's a very powerful command. So let me set up a scenario on my screen here. I have a bunch of trees, blocks of trees. You could say I also have uh, some blocks of cars. And these trees are all in the wrong layer. So I want to put them on the right layer. So how would I do that? I guess I could pick them all one at a time. I could window them. There's a variety of ways to go about doing it, but we're going to use Quick Select to do that. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to grab the, that's the Properties dialog box, and I tend to go to Quick Select from the Properties dialog box. You'll see it's this little funnel here with the lightning bolt. Grab Quick Select. You can go about getting it other ways as well, and it is an actual command. So I want to find all of my tree blocks in my drawing. So the entire drawing, I'm going to drop this list down and say I just care about my blocks. And I just care about my blocks that have a name that is equal to, not a car, how about, oh, there's three different types. Well, let's say I just want to grab my evergreen trees right now, and I'll say OK. And you'll see that it highlighted all of the blocks that have a name of evergreen tree. And then I could drop this list down and I could put them on the right layer. But I didn't get them all, did I? So let's say I wanted to add to the existing selection set. No problem. I could come up here, back to properties, back to quick select. And I'm going to apply this. I actually wanted to continue to look through the entire drawing. And I want just the blocks again that have a name equal to, let's add some more. Let's grab these tree clumps. And this is the trick here, append to the current selection set. OK. So now you'll see it got all of the trees, oh, except this one lone survivor here. But once again, I could come up here, I could drop the list down, and I could put them all in the proper layer, right? So that's showing you how you can add to the existing selection set. So let me uh, try this another route. Let's go another route up here. Let's take a look at a slightly different approach back into the quick properties, excuse me, the quick select command. And I'm going to say from the entire drawing, I just want to look for the blocks that have a name. How about this? Not equal to, because you don't have to always do equal. You'll see there's a, quite a few operators you can work with here. Not equal to, looks like you can use wildcards and everything in there, right? Not equal to the car, right? Because that actually would get all of my trees. Not equal to the car. We don't need to worry about this appending because we're just grabbing one selection set. That did it. That was very efficient. That was very fast. And once again, I could just drop my list down there and put it on the trees layer. So that shows you one method of selecting all of my trees. Granted, that's probably a little longer than you want to work with. But the, the point here is I want to give you some examples. And I want you to start thinking about how you can use this in your everyday drawing life. So let's, uh, let's do something slightly different. I want to grab all of the polylines that have an area smaller, less than 45, that also happen to be on a specific layer. So I'm going to give it two rules, two filters. Unfortunately, we can't do them both at the same time. We have to do them separately. But you can get the job done with, with Quick Select. Let, let me show you how. Back to Quick Select apply to the entire drawing. This time we're going to switch over to polylines. I want all of the polylines that have an area that is less than, right, 45. Let's try that and say OK. Oh, that got way more polylines than I thought it would. I actually am only looking for the polylines that happen to be in this area. The ones where they have a specific layer, it's going to help me figure this out. It's going to make it easier on me. So I'm going to further narrow down the selection set. We'll go back into Quick Select. And I'm going to say apply to the current selection. Okay, I want you to filter from what I've already selected. I want all the polylines that are on a layer, a specific layer. In fact, that is the right layer, but you can see it has a nice drop down list. And I want the particular layer EA Relva. And let's see what happens now. Much better. So that's further narrowed down the selection set. So it's interesting. You can do ands. You can do ors. There's, there's quite a, an, interesting, uh, an interesting functionality here associated with Quick Select. You can actually get incredibly clever with how you design. So there's my tip for this Tuesday. I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I will chat back with you in two more weeks.